Welcome to the Coach's Corner. I'm here with CTW Academy coach, Dave Scholl. What have you got for us today, Dave? Tom, uh, today what I'd like to talk about is one of the biggest strategy errors I see from my students, and that is repositioning after hitting a shot. Okay, repositioning, very important. You know, you wanna cut that angle off, right, for your opponent. You wanna cut. make sure you're right in the middle of that angle. Correct. Yeah. Correct. All right. Um, so um, where, where do you see this problem usually happen? Well, uh, a couple areas. You know, the, probably the most common spot to be striking a ball during a rally, during a serve return, is several feet inside of the baseline. I have to come in there to hit the stroke. What most people are doing is they're hitting this stroke, they get wrapped up in the point, and that's where they stay. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that works out fine if the next ball is short, but I certainly can't count on that. So what you want to do, if I'm only in this far inside the baseline, immediately after hitting that shot, I want to get several feet back behind the baseline, ready for the worst scenario. The worst scenario would be someone hits a ball two inches inside of the baseline. Right. If I'm here, I still have that ball out in front of me. I could still even take a little step into that ball if, if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Caught here, ball's going to land at my feet. I'm going to take the ball out of the air from back here, which I, I really never want to hit a volley or a ball that out of the air of from back this deep. Yeah. I can make that, but it's very risky, and I'm, I'm not going to execute a, yeah. a very good offensive shot. Right, exactly. You're not going to have much offense right. on that shot. Right. Yeah. Now, going the other way, too, let's say I'm striking a ball. I'm up close to the service line. I'm hitting that ball a foot or two from behind the service line. Now, in most cases, I don't have time to get back here right. before my opponent is hitting that next shot. So now I'm going to go into the net. Okay, so really after I strike a ball, I want to be one of two places, behind the baseline, several feet behind the baseline, or in my net position, you know, halfway to maybe a little more than halfway mm -hmm. inside the service box. Okay. Only time I want to be standing in here is while I'm striking a ball. Right. That's not where I want to wait to receive. And I was thinking too, Dave, this area here, you know, they call it no man's land. Right. Right. Uh, but you have to go through no man's land, right, to get to the net. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's not necessarily a place you don't want to go through. But the point Dave is making is you don't want to hang out here. Exactly. You know? So you might have to retreat or you're going to go all the way to the net, but don't hang out in that area. Yeah, I, I'm going to be hitting most of my shots in this area, yeah. other than when I'm volleying. You right. know, so, it's, yeah, like you said, it's not yeah. that I don't want to be there. Yeah. I don't want to be there, though, while I'm waiting for the next ball to come that's to me. That's idea. that's yeah. the point. Okay. So always hit and immediately recover. Right. All right, so you want to demo that for us, Dave? Sure. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, a few shots here. Uh, starting first of all with a shot that I'm hitting a little bit inside of the baseline. And so my goal here is going to be to recover immediately after that shot and have my position before my opponent is hitting their next ball. Right. Okay, so you can see I'm here. I'm stopped way before my opponent would be hitting their ball. Now I'm in a neutral position. I can handle the worst scenario, which would be a ball landing here. Much easier for me to move forward for a ball than it is. Here's the common thing, standing here and a player's caught doing this, falling backward. That'll be at, at the very best a weak shot or a pop-up that's most likely going to sail deep. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the other scenario, which will be now I've come up and I'm either on the service line, even a few feet behind the service line, where I don't have time to back up anymore and get in a position behind the baseline. So now I'm committed to coming in, getting about halfway inside that service box. And my intent is then to get the next ball out of the air as a volley. OK, 
Okay, so there you can see in those two scenarios, immediately after I hit my shots, I was getting out of that spot, either getting back behind the baseline or closing into the net, but at no point did I hang out in that area between service line and baseline while I'm waiting for the shot, the next shot to yes. come back to me. Okay, great. Okay, so that no man's land, it's good, it's a, an area that you want to be able to go through, but you don't want to hang out there, right, Dave? That's right. Bottom line. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for, for watching.